Taylor here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I'm here with two of my sons, McGregor and Quinn, and they're both super sunburned. They want to show you their sunburns. You show? Nice. <laughs> From being at the beach yesterday. <laughs> and they also have um, quarantine hair, so we're doing hats today. But we are um, working on coin values, which are traditionally really tricky for kids, partly because kids don't have a lot of experience with coins, because you parents and teachers swipe a card a lot and you don't have a lot of coins around for them to play with. So this is a great activity for giving them practice with the values of the coins. It's perfect for kindergarten, first and second grade. So boys, let's show everybody how to play the game. So Quinn, start first. Okay. You need to have a board where you have penny, nickel, and dime columns. Okay, turn it back over. What you're trying to get win. What, okay. you're, what you're trying to get is five dimes. The winner is whoever gets five dimes first. So you start rolling and let's see, show them how to play it. Three. Three. I take three cents. Three cents, and they're gonna go in which column? Penny. Penny. All right, we'll pass it over to McGregor. Two. What'd you get, McGregor? Two. Two. And those go in the pennies. All right, let's see what happens with Quinn. <gasps> Five. Quinn got a five, so you get to put five cents on your board. What are you going to do? Can you show everybody what that is? A nickel, Ooh. because it's five cents. Okay, Ooh. awesome. If I get two more pennies, then I can three. Oh, what happened to your pennies? Keep them on oh, the penny. Oh, sorry, I'm used to have ten nickel dime. Okay. So we've got two already on pennies, and you got a three. I'm so. just going to trade it in for... I'm just going to take these and trade it in for a nickel. Because 2 plus 3 equals 5. And as soon as you have uh, 5 in the pennies, you can move up to a nickel and trade it in. 4. Ooh, four okay. Penny. So you're going to put 4 pennies on. Let's watch what you do with this. Count them out loud so you can see. 1, 2. I'm going to trade this. Wait a second. Put 4 pennies on there because that's what you got on your thing. Put four pennies on. You already put two. Two. two three. Four. Okay. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to trade this out for What's four. this? you got to tell everybody. Um, Five cents for a nickel. And then I'm going to trade the nickel. For wait, three. wait. You only put three over here. You accidentally left two of them back here. Okay. Okay. And now you had two nickels there. What are so you going to do? I'm going to trade the nickels in, in four dimes. All right. Okay. So you get the idea of how to play. As soon as you can trade up to the next coin value, go ahead and do that replacement. Um, that that uh, process of explicit trading is important in coin values. It's also important in place value. Three, so it's a good kind of one, connection to place two. value as well in a little bit of a different Three. way. Oh, I look at this. having fun building math positive mindsets with your kids. Try out Fire the coin trading game. It's a fun one. Aww. Thanks.